Welcome to the first episode. So, I've done a little bit of food shop for my contest prep, which I start tomorrow, which is a Monday, by the way. Um, so, let's, where do I start? Let's go let's start with the proteins. I've got chicken breast, right? Lean chicken breast, just no, no, um, what's it called? Welcome to the first episode. Now, we've done a... Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> I've done so good before. What's wrong, Matt? <laughs> I'm a bit f new at this. Oh. Now I'm really nervous. <laughs> I haven't done it for a while. So the first protein source is chicken breast, all right? Then now we've got some beef, mince. Now this is the cheap shit, it's the, uh, the fatty stuff, but I'm going to drain it, okay, with hot water. So basically the fat will turn to lean, if it makes sense. Um, what's the next protein source? We've got some egg whites. So I'd normally use about 250 grams of that with two whole eggs. So yeah, free range whole eggs, 700 grams. Uh, tuna, so this is very low fat. Um, sweet chili, tuna. What else have I got? That's pretty much it for the protein. I also have yogurt, okay? Um, some oats in there as well, yogurt oats. Now there is some protein in here, okay? But uh, it's more of a carb source of protein because carbs double, all right? Carbs about 20 grams of carbs, about 10 grams of protein, okay? Now for the carb sources, we've got oats, basic quick oats, okay? This is cheap. Also got some white potato and sweet potato. Okay, now I'll talk about white potato versus sweet potato in a different video. But for now, I'll show what I've got. So that's that, uh, I've got some rice cakes. Okay, plain rice cakes, cheese rice cakes. Got some bananas, really good for the potassium. I recommend at least one banana for each day. Each day, every day. Got some apples. Okay, now this, isn't really a carb source, but I've got some spinach, some vegetables, uh, and that's about it for the carbs, I believe in there. I also have rice, jasmine, jasmine white rice, what I brought a few months ago. You know, it's in the cupboard, it's gonna last for a long time. Um, also, I've got baked beans. If I, I'll show you what I'm using right now. Okay, salt reduced, baked beans. I always say it reduced. That's how it's spelled, right? So you, you need some salt in your diet. You don't, you don't, I don't want to get the full, you know, baked beans with so much salt in it, but I'll get these ones here. For the fiber, for the potassium, for the protein, for the, for the carbs as well. Now that's that. Now I'll show you what else I've got for my cravings. Sugar-free cordial, okay? So I've got lemon crush, lime, Okay, raspberry, an apple, raspberry, fruit cup, orange crush. Now, I'll talk about this in another, another video. I also got soda water, okay. And I've got almond milk. Now, the reason why I switched to almond milk, not light milk, just because it's got less calories in it. And I find I'm a little bit lactose, so, it will help me um, not increase that inflammation in my stomach. Oh, and I also got some uh, olive oil, garlic olive oil to help with cooking. Okay. And that's about One last thing I forgot to mention the biggest macronutrient of all whey protein. Okay. Now, the re I don't normally get these ones. It's because they stopped selling them. These are basically half price, almost half price. So I've got, <laughs> so I'll stuff from here. I've got BPI, cookies and cream, uh, salted sea salt caramel, Tyson. I don't normally have this one, but it's a, uh, the blend, strawberries and cream blend, okay, protein blend. Cellacore whey. Protein, whipped vanilla flavor. My favorite. Yep, and this is her, these are my favorite too. 
Chocolate peanut butter Titan. Got more. These are lasting two years. Uh, chocolate mint Titan. As I said, I bought all these Titans because why not, right? This one's special and they're not selling it anymore. Vanilla caramel Titan. Oh, by the way, I've got some fiber lollies. Uh, strawberry milkshake. Uh, Pro Star Way, I believe. Pro Sups? Pro Stups? No. Pro Sups, not Pro Star. And uh, glazed donut flavor. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure that's all the protein powders I have. Oh. And I've got Giant Sports chocolate flavor protein powder. I don't really have this one, but it's there. I've run out of the other proteins. So, I believe. So, about the protein powder, all right? I'll have it once a day after my workout. The other protein meals, I make sure I get it either chicken, beef, eggs, tuna, fish, you know. So I have three whole meals a day, three protein foods, then I have one shake. And all the foods you see here, this is basically what I'm going to eat throughout my contest prep, the whole five to six months, okay? Um, now, when I do a contest prep, when I'm cutting, when I'm losing body fat, I'm not on some special diet, okay? These are the foods what I basically eat all year round, depending on if I'm bulking, maintaining, or cutting. It's just I eat less carbs, less fats, keep the protein the same. That's what it, that's, there's no magic, okay? It's about creating that calorie deficit, and that will make you lose fat. So, day one. As you can tell, I just woke up literally like probably a minute ago. So I'm waiting time. <clears throat> Let's see much away. Eighty-five point eight. Wow. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm about four kilograms up since. Um, The end of getting back to shredded series. So, yeah, that's it. Just a little, how's the lighting? That's not too bad. Not too bad. Well, I'll do a posing update tonight in a way, so. <laughs> Before you go, yeah. <coughs> what's your goal? So I want to get down. Oh my god, I'm still waking up. Fuck <coughs> my throat, please. Um, I want to get down to seventy-seven kilos. So seventy-five to seventy-eight kilos around there. Good luck. Four percent body fat. You'll get there. Thanks, baby.
Hey guys. Um, whew, fuck. Okay. I really feel um, lightheaded today. <laughs> and I think I know why. So I'm just going to sit down and talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, I want to keep you guys updated, you know. Um, road journey to the stage, guys. I want to keep you guys updated, just like my Getting Back to Shredded series, right? Um, yeah, so I just finished my workout. I did chest and abs. Now, before that, I worked all morning. So I started at 5.30 a.m., finished about 11. Normally, finished about 12. So, um, and I forgot to eat. Now, basically, I did intermittent fasting, where you don't eat for 16 hours and you eat all your calories in eight hours. Nothing wrong with it. It's totally fine. You know, but the first day... If you try it yourself, I didn't mean to try it, but it was an accident, by the way. It was an accident. I didn't even mean to. I forgot to eat because I was training people all day, um, all morning. And I was just busy. I just didn't even, forget, didn't even think about food. Um, fuck, I feel shaky just holding this camera or well, my phone. So, <clears throat> what was I saying? Yeah, intermittent fasting. If you try it out yourself, you will feel a little bit lightheaded the first few days because your body's not used to it. Once, probably three to seven days into it, your body will adapt and you won't feel shaky and lightheaded, you know. Um, I used to do it a few years ago. Tried out a few years ago when I was getting lean. When I was 100 kilograms, got down to 77. Now, I didn't do it in my whole cut. I just did it at the end of my cut. Um, and I, I liked it, you know, it's just today, I just feel really shaky. Um, so, I normally do about 12 sets on chest. You know, I only did nine sets. I didn't want to push it plus last week when I did 55 kilogram dumbbell incline bench press each dumbbell. I kind of hurt my left pec again, my, my bicep tendon area. You know, in my getting back to shredded series, I talked about having that injury. Um, it just came back a little bit, so I didn't want to push it today. Plus, I really feel lightheaded. Now, I was thinking, like, why the hell do I feel lightheaded? You know, is, is it the caffeine? Because I did take... Utopia, which is a pre-work um, supplement, not a pre-workout. Gives you more mental focus. It's 200 milligrams of caffeine in there. And then I took White Lightning five hours later, which is a fat burner. Well, I just use it as a pre-workout to give me energy. Now, 20 minutes into it, taking it, my heart was racing. I felt lightheaded. And I was like, I felt kind of pale, like, looked pale in the mirror. And um, I didn't know what it was. I don't know if it was the caffeine or... I just didn't eat. In a way, just letting you guys know what's what happened, you know? I'm trying to keep you updated. So then I don't know, I had a I had a shake before. Um and then probably an hour later I'm gonna eat. Then back at work at five to nine tonight. Today is a Friday by the way, so I do I do a split shift. Might have a nap because I didn't get my sleep last night. That could be it. Not much sleep. Um Broken sleep, six hours of broken sleep, just keep waking up. Um, no food. I'm dieting, I'm in a calorie deficit. Um, and too much caffeine in five hours, you know. Probably 500 milligrams of caffeine all up. Don't do that. Don't do it already. I'm just saying this stuff because I can. you can learn from it, you know. Now, everyone's different. Everybody reacts differently, but that's what happened to me. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> Hey guys, just got home from gym and it was actually it was a really good workout. Um, so it is Wednesday today. I started my contest prep, so my cut uh, last Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday. This is day ten, right? Now I just uh, finished a chest. An abs workout with my mate Matt. All right. 
Um, so yeah, every Wednesdays, okay? Not sure if it's gonna be every single Wednesday or every second Wednesday, but uh, not sure yet. But um, yeah, every Wednesday or every second Wednesday, I am going to do an update on how everything is going, you know, keeping you guys updated. Now, um, so each episode, right, of uh, Journey to the Stage, right, is going to be roughly in a month. So a lot of footage, of training footage, posing footage, macros, you know, my updates, how I'm feeling. I want to try to aim for, to record. So each episode, in one month, right? So I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm aiming to um, film six episodes, okay? Now, um, so an update. Now, my body weight this morning was 83.5 kilos at 8.30 a.m., all right? It's a Wednesday, so it's my sleeping day. Um, and now I do believe Right, on Monday, I did wake up around 8.30 or so, and that, so when I first, on day one, when I first started my cut, it was a Monday, and I didn't actually have work because it was a holiday, right, public holiday on a Monday. Um, so my body weight, if I'm not mistaken, if I, if I get it wrong, I'll type it on, I'll write it on the, uh, on the, uh, I'll write it on the um, video, if I get it wrong, but I believe this is right. Day one on Monday, 8.30, I was about 85.8, so really that was, now I'm 83.5, so 3, 4, 5, 2.3 kilograms down in just over a week. Now, that's normal because those, that first week, you, 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 what, your body will drop a lot of weight not necessarily fat weight, but a lot of glycogen, water weight, all right? Because when you decrease carbohydrates, right, which is the bulk of your calorie intake, right, your water and your, your carbohydrate, you know, your water levels in your muscles and your body and your glycogen levels, stored glycogen is basically um, digested carbohydrates, right? When you decrease carbs, you lose glycogen out of your muscles, right? So that, and that holds water. So that's probably a, probably a kilo of that weight is probably glycogen and water. And probably one and a half kilos is probably fat, right? And I'm aiming to lose a kilogram weekly for roughly four weeks, just like my getting back to shredded series at the start of my cut, right? Now, after that, your body will naturally slow down in a way in weight loss. One, because your body adapts. Two, it's just the leaner you get, the harder it is to lose weight in a way. So that's the update guys, 200 grams of protein. So my macros is 200 grams of protein, 250 gram, grams of carbohydrates, carbs, and uh, 50 grams of uh, fat. Now that's roughly, not sure, not quite sure what the total calorie intake is, probably roughly 2,100 calories, 2,200 calories. Um, that's what I'm having right now, because it's one gram of fat, there's nine calories. One gram of protein and one gram of carb is four calories. So you do the maths, right? So 200 carb, sorry, 200 protein, 250 carb, 50 fat. Now I'm going to stick with those macros as long as I can until my body reach a sticking point. So a plateau, which sucks. Everyone hates plateaus. So my goal is to eat as much calories as I can while still losing weight and only make adjustments when I hit a plateau. So either make adjustments in, in, in my activity, so increase cardio, or, not both, but or decrease some fats and decrease some carbs. That's the update, guys. Um, strength is still there. Hasn't lo haven't lost any strength yet. Um, as you can tell, I put some of my training video videos on the, uh, you know, you, you're going to see some training clips here and there on these series, just to keep you guys updated and keep myself updated with my progress. And I actually increased my barbell overhead press, 70 kilograms for about seven reps. I never done that weight in my life, so I'm pretty good. Strength actually de increased a little bit. So I'll give you a quick mirror update. I don't want this video to be too long because I said 
I want my videos to be around 25 minutes each episode and six episodes once a month. So, uh, just a mirror update. It's only been five minutes so far. So, this is post back in, sorry, post, um, post, uh, what am I saying? Post uh, chest and abs workout. So, that's what we're looking at at the moment. We've got some veins happening. All right. That's it guys, talk to you soon. Hey guys, just got back from the gym. Uh, so it was a leg day today, just a quick little update. Now I know I do my updates every weekly to the fortnightly on a Wednesday, you know, keep you guys updated with my body weight, how everything's going, how's my strength going in the gym, etc. But um, if I've got something to talk about, I'll just, doesn't matter what day it is, I'll do it, okay? Just trying to make it quick. Now, it was leg day today. It was meant to be, bent, it was meant to be my high rep day, so I alternate. So on my squats, bench, and dead, rack pulls, deadlifts, um, shoulder press, you know, those heavy compound multi-joint movements, I'll do one time, five sets of five reps. The next time I do that movement, it will be about three sets, about 10 to 12 reps, right? Now alternate. Now today was my three sets of 10 to 12 reps on squats. I was meant to do 130 kilograms, about 10 reps, right? I, I, just, I, didn't, I didn't have it. I didn't have the freaking, I took a caffeine pill, 200 milligrams. I um, mixed up some taurine, some meant to focus in my pre-workout, so homemade pre-workout. I just still didn't have the energy. I did have six hours sleep, but Normally, even if I get six hours sleep, I feel okay from the workout. But uh, yeah, I didn't have it. I did 120 kilos, 888. Eight, eight. So a few reps less and 10 kilos less. But I just want to quickly say something, guys. If that happens to you, like if you don't get, if you decrease in your strength that one time, right? Don't worry about it. You cannot have. You can't hit PRs every workout. You can't get stronger every workout. You can't maintain your strength every workout. Some workouts you feel good, some workouts you feel like shit. All depends how much sleep, what you ate before, how hydrated you are. Um, especially when you're in a calorie deficit, when you're losing body fat. You just don't have the fuel, okay? You don't have the fuel. I mean, um, you know, I'm in a deficit. I'm probably in about 700 ish calorie deficit pretty big so some days i feel good some days i feel worse just want to let you guys know just in case it's, it's happening to you don't worry about it sleep eat recover come in strong next time okay you'll have bad days here and there
update time. So I normally do an update every Wednesday, so my body weight update, see how my body's going. Um, but today's a Thursday. This morning it was 83.1 kilos. Focus, focus. Okay, so 83.1 kilos in the morning at nine o'clock. Now tomorrow's a Friday, so I've got, I got work at 5.30. So I'm going to weigh myself up that time at 5 o'clock. Um, so that's a total of lost 2.7 kilograms down in uh, two weeks and three days. Now, at the start, I dropped the weight quick. You know, that's normal because when you lose, um, when you first get in a calorie deficit, you lose a lot of water weight and glycogen weight. So yeah, uh, yeah, 83 and a half, or 83.1 kilos uh, today. And I've been feeling, now the first week when I dropped that calorie deficit, right? That first week, I felt like shit. I felt like crap, like my, my body was in shock, I was really tired. Now it's basically, it's been just over two weeks now, and my, I'm finally getting used to it. Um, but today, for some reason, I felt very like I feel very tired now. It's it's only eight o'clock at night. Um, I'm just exhausted, uh, and I had to sleep in today as well. I probably woke up like um, probably had eight hours sleep this morning, eight and a half hours sleep. Well, last night I woke up at nine, and had to sleep, and I just don't feel the best. But yeah, just let, getting letting you guys know what's been happening. Well, my body weight's been going. How, how my body weight's been going. So as you can tell, I'm, I'm not, I can't even think straight at the moment. But hopefully this bit, hopefully this will pass. Um, yeah, just came back from work, did some PTs. And now uh, I'm gonna cook some dinner, some sweet potatoes, some chicken, and uh, a little bit of white potato too. So I have, normally for dinner, I normally have 250 grams of sweet potato, 250 grams of white potato, and chicken breast. Right, and yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna have for dinner. So I need to cook it now, and I need to go to bed soon, so I get a decent amount of sleep. Cause tomorrow's the biggest day. Um, I've got to wake. Up. I've got to open the gym at five thirty, and I finish work work at twelve. Then I work out, which is be legs. So um, twelve to like two, or twelve to one thirty. Um, and, uh, and then go home, start work again at five to nine, so five to close. So I want to get a decent amount of sleep, at least six and a half hours. So yeah, talk to you guys later.